This is third grade Go Math Lesson 1.8, and today we are going to estimate differences. Um, the directions say use rounding or compatible numbers to estimate um, the difference. Now, um, in my class, we are not using compatible numbers, um, so I'm not going to talk about those. Um, as I did in a previous lesson, our district has uh, decided not to worry about that for third grade at this time. So um, we're going to focus on rounding today. So if you're in another place, they um, may want you to work on compatible numbers. You may do that in class, so your answers might vary depending. So um, as you see the examples done here, they rounded to the nearest 10. And that actually didn't need to be rounded because there's always 0. And this number here, 13, 3 is, uh, if you're rounding for the nearest 10, you look at the next door. So we're looking at the 1s. Um, there's uh, five less than 5 1s, so this number will be 10. So 40 minus 10 equals 30. Uh, let me do another example over here. Now we have 100. So we're going to go ahead and estimate to the nearest 100 here. So I'm going to look at, uh, if I look at round it to the nearest 100, I need to look next door to my 10s. This number is uh, 5 or larger. So I'm going to round up. So 762 is going to become 800. And then on the answer here, on the uh, one here. Again, I'm going to look at my tens. The, the number is less than five, so this will stay 300. I'll go ahead and subtract 800 minus 300 is 500. And that's how you solve for that one. I'll go ahead and go over to um, number three. Um, and we have 823 um, minus 242. So I'm going to go ahead and round to the nearest 100 again. So I'm looking at my uh, looking at my 10s, and I'm going to change. I'm, I'm not going to change the 8 because uh, the number is less than 5, so it's going to be 800. And then if I look at my 1s here, again, it's less than 5. So when I round it to the nearest 100, it will be 200. So I have 800 minus 200. 8 minus 2 is 6, and that is how we estimate differences.